As the name says, flatty indicates flat and helmet indicates worms. These are all flat worms. That means the body is usually ribbon like flat. It's also known as dorso ventrally flattened body. That is flat from upper and lower side like a ribbon. Now this shape even indicates that the body is symmetrical bilaterally. That means it can be divided into two equal parts when cut through this central axis. These organisms do not have a true body cavity which makes them acylimate organisms. However, their bodies are triploblastic. That means the body is formed from three proper embryonic layers, the endoderm, mesoderm and ectoderm. However, there are no complex organs developed in these. A proper digestive system is absent. Respiration also occurs with simple diffusion through the body surface. The excretory system also has the same story. The body does not have any specialized excretory organ. Rather, the system has specialized cells called the flame cells which perform excretion. Now, how do you think these organisms reproduce? Any idea? Well, these organisms reproduce sexually. In some cases, which are hermaphrodite, fusion of gametes occurs within the same body. Whatever the case is, fertilization is always internal. Any guesses, where are these organisms found? Most of them are parasitic that's found in the body of the target host. Example of this type include liver flume. Some of them are free living and found mostly in marine or freshwater habitats. Planaria is the most common example of this type. Just like these flatworms, we've even found roundworms which are found in various habitats. Are these different from the flatworms? Not much, but slightly. That is the reason why they studied usually in succession to understand them better. A few days after returning from a party, Zara started complaining about a severe stomach ache. The problem appeared to be minor initially, but with time, it worsened. She was diagnosed very late to have been affected by a helmet infection. What are these helmet infections? These are infections caused by the next category of animals in our list, worms. The worms responsible for such infection can be both flatworms and nematodes. We have already seen what flatworm, that is platyhelminthes, are. In this video, let's have a look at the second category, Askhelminthes, also known as round worms. The name is derived from two Greek terms, askos, meaning cavity, and helmet, as we know, means a worm. That means worms having a cavity containing cylindrical body. Also, the name nematode indicates thin and cylindrical-like body, where nema stands for thread. These organisms are a step higher than the platyhelminthes on the scale of evolution. They have an organ system grade of organization. That means a few organs make up the body and not just tissues. The body is usually cylindrical and has a tapering end. The mouth consists of prominent structures like suckers and hooks to attach to the host body and derive nutrition from it. The body is bilaterally symmetrical and can be divided into equal halves when cut through the central axis. Just like the platyhelminthes, these are triploblastic. That means there are three embryonic layers, namely the endoderm, mesoderm and the ectoderm that make up the body. However, these contain a pseudocelin. That means a pseudocavity, or simply a cavity present between the gut and the body wall. Now we have said there are organs which make up the cysts. So, which are the cysts that we find in these organisms? To begin with, we have a simple digestive system. The system helps in breakdown of simple food molecules. The excretory system is also quite simple. It consists of canals and cells called the protonephridia. These organisms, however, lack a proper circulatory and respiratory system. These processes occur via simple diffusion. No properly developed organs are present for these systems. And the nervous system is poorly developed. Now comes another important system, the reproductive system. Askelminthes are unisexual organisms. That means the males and the females are separate individuals. Females are usually 
larger in size compared to the males, and this helps us identify the organism. Reproduction does occur sexually, and the fertilization is also internal. Now, can you tell me where are these organisms found? These are very rarely found in marine or freshwater habitats. Most of them are usually endoparasites. That means living inside the body of a host organism. Ascaris, Bucaria, and many others make up the complete category. Are earthworms also an example of nematodes? Think for a moment. If you said yes, it's probably not the right answer. It's not your fault as 